A very good morning. Welcome back on this Thursday morning to your Feel Good Breakfast Express on SABC3. We were talking about uh, celebs on Instagram from a local perspective and now we're talking about international celebs that are to be watched in 2015. Yes, there's a few people that we need to look out for and uh, in the house, JP Sebastian, how are you doing? I'm doing alright. I love yourself. your hair. Happy New Year. I love your hair. Thank you. We're doing so well this year. 2015 what, started off with a bang. Tell me what inspired the hair. Uh, a weight gain down here, weight loss up there. <laughs> I don't know, it's all about the band. Are you trying to say that my hair's changed because I picked up weight because I didn't? I'm just... <laughs> Please, it's okay. No, he wasn't meaning like that. Listen, let's talk about the, the celebrities to watch. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Charlie XCX is one. Uh, we all know that song. Boom, clap, the sound of my uh, heart. Is uh, it a big uh, uh, star? You know me too well, don't you? Really? It's, that's your kind of feel right oh, there? Oh, absolutely. But tell me, about, what, what, do you, what do you think of her? Have you, have you dabbled in a bit of her bio and find out what she's doing? Uh, it was the other song, Fancy, was it, as well? Mm -hmm. With Iggy oh. Azalea? Yes, 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 yes. I, I think that there are a lot of young people who are surprised that the grumpy old man can talk about these things. Um, <laughs> so you refer to yourself as the grumpy old man? Because I was referred to as the grumpy old man about movies all of last year, but anyway. Um, <laughs> yes. Maybe not my kind of fodder. Why does um, she have such little clothes on? <laughs> um, no, wait, wait, wait. Chris Hemingsworth. Hemsworth. I like him. Chris Hemsworth. Because he wins because awards and he's sexy. Just say he's pretty, yes. yes. That's, that's the first port of call. If you don't know by now, everyone must know he's Thor. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's another one for 2016, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, oh um, yes. There's obviously Avengers, uh, Age of Ultron. And then of particular interest to me is, um, it's called Black Hat, uh, which is directed by Michael Mann. I don't know if you guys saw Heat or uh, it was Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jamie yes, Foxx. Yes, yes, yes. So Michael Mann is a heavyweight of, right, right. of really fast-paced so action movies. So we should be movies. looking out for him. Okay. Uh, I, I think that he could do really well in it. It's about hackers and espionage and stuff like that. So it's okay. not superhero and a bit yeah. more intellectual, but action-packed nevertheless. One person I'm excited about who's kind of emerging from the social scene of what the character she played as Rose in Downton Abbey is Lily James. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think that she's got quite a, quite a bright future if you look at like the, the kind of whimsical character she played in Downton you Abbey. You just rolled your eyes. Yeah. Well, I'm not rolling. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm like drawing on, on my telepathic powers for, for the name Lily James. And indeed, right. Downton Abbey, though, for a young actor, it can't be a bad start at all. It's won yeah. so many awards and, you know, it's got to have given her some mileage. And I'm pretty sure that she's going to be doing well this year, too. Hopefully. What about Miles Teller? I'm told that, I mean, I don't know who Miles Teller is, but... I'm so Miles grateful Teller? there's a name I can grip. There's traction to the name Miles Teller because he was in The Spectacular Now. And a movie that I spoke about last year, Whiplash, which I'm totally pumped for. Uh, the one about uh, the kid who's got aspirations of being one of the greatest dramas of all time. Of course, this is why it's sitting in front of a symbol. I have to also just redeem myself and yeah. say the reason we're mentioning these people is because we're looking out for them in 2015. So mm, if you exactly. don't recognize any of them, they get, they're going to be celebrities. Okay? And just pull my lost face, um, <laughs> which I've been doing half the time. But Miles Teller, definitely. I mean, like, uh, he could be competing even for, I, I haven't checked, but uh, Oscar worthy compared to, say, Steve Carell in Foxcatcher. Intense young actor, and he's two years younger than me, so what's that, 16? Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, not knowing whether this guy is, is going to make it onto uh, some kind of Oscar buzz, I, I highly doubt. So that, that's, that's Jamie Dornan, the guy who's playing the lead in Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, it's him! That's him, that's oh, the guy. That was wow. the, the, guy. the photo of his scoliosis because of the angle. Um, <laughs> wow, uh, guy. I'm sorry, it's Grumpy early in the morning, indeed. two hours of sleep. But what do you there think of this guy? I mean, from a, from a, from a you know, kind of career perspective, is he going anywhere positive? He's got that intriguing bird oh, look on his guy. face. But he's come got on. your hair. Oh, okay, Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, hmm, he's got my hair, really? Um, okay, well, maybe somewhere in between yours and mine. Fifty Shades of Grey, the lead, um, being chosen. Uh, obviously going to be a big title of the year. Everyone knows yeah. the book by now. It's sold mega loads, and I'm pretty sure that the movie might just put him on the podium for future assignments. Um, Why didn't he bring us people like Jamie Foxx or Cameron Diaz? <laughs> Oh, you know, it, no, you know what, what the sad thing is, just a quick what? little side note there, that guy, <laughs> he's married with kids, so sorry ladies, <laughs> watch Fifty Shades of Grey with a filter, uh -huh. <laughs> the, I'm not getting this filter. I'm not going to watch it at all, I'm going to watch cartoons or something. Alright, listen, <laughs> it's that time of the morning, we've got to catch up with the morning headlines, Leanne, over to you.